Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this uh, I'm going to do this first grouping, uh, these first four problems. And here's what the question says. Which of these represent one-to-one -one functions? And it says use your calculator and apply the horizontal line test to determine this. Well, let me take you through the process, okay? First of all, the reason we know each one of these is a function we don't even have to use the vertical line test is because they wrote it in functional notation if you write f of x equals f of x equals f of x equals g of x equals you automatically know it's a function okay so that part it's done in other words they've all passed the vertical line test now we want to know if they're one-to-one -one functions well remember if something is a one-to-one -one function First of all, it has to be a function. That means it, it already passed the vertical line test. Now, to be one-to-one, -one, it has to pass the horizontal line test. So, I'm going to get out my calculator. Well, let me find it. Here we go. Okay. And that first function, we have... Okay, let me turn it on. Y equals 2x caret 3 plus 3. And I'm going to hit zoom 6. I should have done that to start with to make sure I'm in a standard window. But here's the graph. Well, does it, does, okay, let's just ask both questions. To decide if a function is 1 to 1. Number one, does it pass the vertical line test? Yes, because any time you draw a vertical line for this picture, it only crosses it one time, the graph one time. How about, does it pass the horizontal line test? Meaning every time you draw a horizontal line, it only touches it one time? Absolutely. So, what I know about this function is yes, it is one to one. Now, what that means in the future is that if I tried to find a formula for its inverse, I could find a formula for its inverse function. Okay? It is a function whose inverse is also a function because it is one-to-one. -one. That's what one-to-one -one means. Its inverse will be a function as well. Okay, the next function is 2 to the x power. Okay, let me hit y let me hit y equals clear out what I've got and if I'm trying to graph 2 to the x power I'm gonna hit 2 caret x and I'm gonna draw a graph and what we have there is really a graph of a it's an exponential function okay it's asymptotic to the x-axis so the line y equals 0 would be a horizontal asymptote. But this question asks really one thing. Is it a one-to-one -one function? Sure it is. If you draw a vertical line, it only crosses the graph one time. That means it's a function, which we already knew. But the important one is to draw the horizontal line. And when you draw a horizontal line, it only crosses the graph one time. So that means that, yes, this is also a one-to-one -one function so when you go to find its inverse its inverse will be a function as well okay how about the function f of x equals absolute value of x plus three okay let's see y equals let me clear out what's there remember where to find absolute value it's either under the math menu or I think I taught you to go to catalog so that's where I'm gonna go I'm gonna hit second function catalog and it's the first option in catalog it's ABS so I hit the enter key to pick it and it's the absolute value of what was it it was X plus three and I'm closing the parens and I'm graphing it got a problem here 
Yes, this is a function, correct? It's functioning. It passes the vertical line test, but when you draw a horizontal line, it crosses the graph twice. So, this is not one-to-one. -one. The absolute value function is not one-to-one. -one. In fact, no absolute value function is ever one-to-one. -one. And that's because it has the shape of a V. Okay. So what it means, and this is very important that you understand this, does it have an inverse? Sure it does. You can always change X and Y. So it always has an inverse. But will the inverse be a function? No. And that's because the original function is not one to one. Okay, my last graph is opposite of 3 and then X to the negative 1. So this is the reciprocal function back from our past. But we're going to type in Y equals, clear this out, and then I'm going to type in the opposite of 3 x raised to the opposite of 1 and I'm going to hit graph. And I come out with uh, a function that has branches. They're also asymptotic to the x-axis and the y-axis. But here's the most important thing. Do they pass the vertical line test? Well sure, any vertical line I draw crosses my graph once. How about the horizontal? Sure, any horizontal line I draw crosses my graph one time. So, this function is one-to-one, -one, which means if you pursued it further, when you found its inverse, its inverse would also be a function. And we're done with that first grouping. We're going to do, do these next three on the next video. Same question.